What's Pivoty Pip Poppin' y'all? It is your boy Silver Hollow here, and today I'm going to be playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I'm going to be comparing two guns today, which is the Mog 12 and the SG 12. Both guns I'm going to be using without any attachments because it can significantly change the outcome of this uh, comparison. So, let's go ahead and hop right into this video and see exactly what we get from these two. The Mach 12 is one of the most OP secondary weapons you could ever have. Uh, besides the SG-12, the Mach 12 is basically just wreckage up close and wreckage from mid-range distance. Uh, headshots are fatal and body shots take two pop shots and you're pretty much done with. <laughs> Got him! Ooh, that was nice! I won that gunfight. Holding the Mog 12 actually gives you some boost of agility while fighting two people. It's actually pretty insane. That's my chance. The Mog 12 has its perks and all, but also has its shortcomings, such as the firing rate, which is almost molasses when it comes to fighting against an assault rifle or a submachine gun, and also its distance. So you can't really shoot somebody who's uh, 50 meters across from you. Mog 12, in my own technical opinion, I would give it an 8 out of 10. This gun is just about OP and damn near just crazy in headshots. Yeah! So speaking for the Mog 12, I give it an 8 out of 10. This gun is pretty much fire. Feel free to use it. I would use it. Uh, now let's move on to the SG-12. In all of the Call of Duty series, I have never been in love with something so beautiful as the SG-12. This gun has pulled me through so many blackout matches and so many multiplayer matches. I am in love with this gun. The SG-12 has got to be the most impactful gun in my life. I personally mess with this gun really, really heavy in Call of Duty Blackout. Everybody who knows me knows that I love the SG-12. If you see it, let me have it. If you, you grab it, you might make a trade. Messing with this gun has been really fun for me, especially clutching people in Blackout, as well as uh, doing tons and tons of damage in multiplayer. <laughs> oh god, what if I just... Oh my god, how many is live? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh come on! <laughs> if my gun would have reloaded fast enough, oh my god, I would have killed him. I do play a bias with the SG-12, but overall, the firing rate is faster and the damage is pretty much the same. So, uh, but in all perspective, if you were up close doing headshots, the Mog-12 would be nice, but the SG-12 can pretty much melt through body armor, melt through any kind of stuff like that. So, in this case, I think the SG-12 wins with a 9 out of 10. Uh, that's pretty much all my opinions on these two guns. If there's any other guns you guys would like me to compare, I would be happy to do that. But for now, I will see you guys later. Hollow out. I've been getting money, I've been getting money.